Welcome to Big Boss Kind of Rock Wallace. I'm out here for to do some deep cleaning and uh show y'all my morning routine again. Uh, see you got boo boo everywhere right now. You know, they've been in the house all night. You know, I keep them in the house. This at this this from yesterday from like last night. They uh once they eat and they boo boo and all that, I let them come back in. Hey, it is what it is. Um, I take y'all take y'all on a journey. This is journey right here. Get my rate, or I, uh, matter of fact, I um, I emptied all the waters out first. Got the leaf of water. Get the water out and uh, get all the water out first. Cause I've been doing a little deep cleaning, real deep pressure washing, stuff like that. People ask me, why you wear your flip flop? Oh man, I like to be comfortable. You know, I've been doing it so long, I know what I'm doing. You know, I wear no boots. As long as it ain't muddy, nothing like that, I wear my little, I wear me some boots, I put on tennis shoes, but I'm, I'm a, I ain't gonna call it, how they call it, hood nigga? I ain't gonna call myself that, but you call it what you want. Yeah, you know, I like to be comfortable. I like to be comfortable. Good morning, you guys. How are you guys doing this morning? It's very early in the morning, as you can see. Oh, it's like sun it's is. Seven yep. Oh, it's early. Sunrise is still on the horizon. Um, like he said, we're just gonna show you what we do. We do this uh, deep, deep cleaning every um, Monday. I mean, not Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Today is Saturday, you guys. So we're going to show you what we do. Um, really, we do this every day, um, but we do the deep, deep cleaning every um, Wednesday, and Wednesday and Saturday. So if you're liking this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you're a new subscriber to our channel, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Put your uh, post notifications bell on to all so you don't miss anything that comes from Big Boss Cannon Rock Wallace. And you guys join the movement. If you have any um, suggestions or any comments, concerns, please feel free to leave a comment in the description box. Oh, yeah. And hey, just stay tuned to what we're doing. So right now, just finna go get the um the bucket we have that we put all the poop in because you know you don't want to just you don't want to just um put all that poop in a regular trash can because you know that'll tend to start making it smell that'll cause flies um you know so you got to try to keep it sanitary as much as possible so this is method is what works for us um, you see, we have a bag inside of that um, bucket. Bags. Why you ain't got no gloves and shit? I've been doing it too long. <laughs> you ain't got to wear no gloves. As long as you know what you're doing, wash your hands once you're done. Oh, yeah. Right. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I stay safe, though. You know? Just like that. Done with Mo 3's pen. Done with Mo 3's pen. Yeah, man. Now we're on to Chanel and Roxy. And I gave I gave them I give all of our dogs a little nickname. 
but I think <laughs> by far um, Chanel and Roxy's is the most. You know I keep my stuff clean because you see it ain't no like nothing like it just a little bit messy because they, you know. Yeah, from just nightly, you know, after they use the bathroom and eat and stuff like that. But yeah, you guys, even though you know. We it, it is. I know some people. Oh, it's dirt back there and woo woo woo. Hey, we keep this stuff clean. Regardless, we have to keep it clean. Yeah, man. I mean, this this this. this that's why I be telling people. People think you just getting a pet and just getting a pet now. It's, it's a lot coming with it. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work and dedication into into having a business like this. It's not like, like he just said, it's not like just having a regular old family pet to where you might have one dog or a small dog or two dogs or maybe even three. Um, but you have to, like, you have to keep it sanitized. That's true. I mean, that'll prevent your dogs from getting sick from you getting sick and it, it's real you guys so you gotta stay sanitized you gotta be cleanly you gotta have some cleanliness and y'all probably hear in the background all that racket there in the house <laughs> diamond <laughs> doing what she do best every morning <laughs> and you know so yeah just watch this journey with us, you guys. And, you know, hopefully somebody uh, watching will pick up some, 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 you know, some tips and, uh, oh, yeah, man. This you know, thing things. Works. Like, this not no just one one day. No, you got to do this every day. Like, every other couple of hours picking up, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to leave a mess down. And they stepping all in it, getting sick. You know, my dogs, they like to jump in their water and stuff like that. And they probably be, you know what I'm saying, jumping in the water with, with, you know what I'm saying, boo on their on on feet. feet. Yeah. You don't, you don't want all that. Yeah. And while we keep everything, try to keep everything sanitized, clean, but they won't get sick. Because they love jumping in the water. They love, like, you know what I'm saying, they get hot, they love jumping in the water, like I was saying. Yeah, you know? that's why we have to um, change, pretty much we change their water at least twice a day. Yeah, twice, twice a day. day. Because as y'all know, like you said, our dogs love water. They love to jump in it. And, you know, when they're playing and stuff like that, if they've pooped, um, you know, they, they step in it and stuff like that. And you don't want them to to drink that, that water that's contaminated, basically. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, you don't want any any kind of contamination, anything like that. <laughs> Gotta get it right, buddy. For you 80s babies, 90s babies out there that know where that quote came from. Matter of fact, that's gonna be the little, um, I forget what you call it, um, that they put in the videos. If you know what that came from, leave that down in the description box below. If you know what that came from, not description box, I said description box, you guys, forgive me, comment box. If you know where that, gotta get it right, buddy, came from, put that in the description box. Let me see who, who knows their movie trivia. Good story, not you, don't say it, cause I know good story. <laughs> Yes, yeah, my that's that's my brother in law, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you're you're you 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 cannot you cannot comment, Chris Dorian. <laughs> and we can tell out here in Texas, you guys, I don't know where everybody's at that's watching us, but it's that that coolness is coming back. It feels so wonderful out here this morning. And it's a 
beautiful morning on this Saturday in September. Okay, so now you guys, um, now that he's done picking up all the poop and everything, now this is where the fun stuff starts. <laughs> And you don't want to overfill the bucket, you know. We just changed that bag yesterday, so it's still still good. But um, you don't want to overfill it and everything, you guys. You know, probably after, I say, what you think, babe, about three days, three or four days maybe, you want to uh, go ahead and change that. You know, like I three said, days. you don't want to um, have that smell. And, you know... Poop tends to smell, so you don't wanna you don't wanna have that just lingering lingering around. So we're gonna pull the pressure washer on in here. Oh, I forgot um, what I was saying, you guys. I call um, Chanel and Roxy, which is our six-month-old. So I call them freaking frack. <laughs> Just something funny that I like to call them as a nickname. Okay, so I'm going to go cut the water on, you guys. Oh yeah, this is job, man. Oh yeah. Gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. Gotta get it right, buddy. Gotta get it right. Gotta get it right. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? Gotta wash him later on too. He dirty. <laughs> that big boy. Yeah. Couple of things over there. Gonna hook up the pressure washer. People probably have me, why you doing it like this? Don't cut the water off. They ain't got time to be walking down. Calm down. And they're having a barking battle. Who can bark the loudest and longest? <laughs> Got that on. Now it might get a little loud, you guys, but you know, like I say, we're taking you on our journey, so just bear with us on that. Gotta get the um cleaning supplies. Oh yeah, man. Gotta use this, man. This stuff right here. It, this right here keep the hold up. Come around this way. This keep the smell down. Fabulous. Keep the smell down. The bleach has killed the germs and stuff like that. And it, it, it keeps smells down too. But, you know, this right here got a good smell to it. Y'all need to go get y'all some of that. Yep. You know, it ain't that much. Probably about three dollars. Two, three dollars. In Walmart. Family dollar. Dollar General. Y'all need to pay me for this. Dollar General. Whoever. Promote. 
so what he's doing now you guys for those of y'all that have pressure washers and stuff like that it's a little um, compartment on there where you can um, put your soaps and stuff like that so that's what together. yeah that's what he's doing now and the water will mix itself but he also adds a little bit of extra water in there to go ahead and get it going Out the way, you know, keep the soap right here. So, kind of, kind of go around the soap just to kind of bubble it hard up. Put it on. I know it's not comfortable, but I, I, I use it like. Yeah, the little pea smell. You know, the shit smell. For real. I'm telling you. I'm one hump. I'm just being real. Gotta get all that up, man. probably can't really um, hear me again if you're watching yeah um, in case you guys are watching on your phone uh, with headphones and stuff like that you might want to cut it down on this part um, again we do apologize in advance um, but you know like I say if you rocking with us if you rock with us then you'll you know You'll understand that as you can see, he soaked it down, soaked it down with the uh, bleach, the fabuloso soap mixture. 
So after he does this, normally um, he'll put put a different nozzle on it and go back over it with just the clean water to kind of rinse it off. And uh, and also, you guys, it's also good um, because it keeps the ground moist. Um, so it's not just hot, hot, you know, when they lay down and stuff like that. And for you guys that um, have males, y'all, you know, be careful with that because, you know, if they're if you're trying to breed them, that hot, that uh, concrete, uh, you know, anything like that, that can also mess with their um, their sperm count, you guys. So that's a little information out there for you guys to um, put into consideration when you're breeding and um, everything like that. And as you can see, he sanitized the tools. They have to get clean too. Sanitized all the way around the baseboards of the house. And again, like we said, you know, even though, um, you know, we don't have a lot of grass in our yard, we still keep it sanitized, you guys, because, you know, they pee, they boo-boo, you know, you get rains and all sorts of stuff that comes through. And, you know, you want to keep your dogs healthy. You don't want them getting sick from, from, from anything. So, hey. This is what we do, and, you know, again, if you're liking this video and all the content coming from us, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, turn your post notification bell on to all so you don't miss anything that comes from us, whether it's a video, a live, uh, or so, uh, sometimes we also post messages in the community tab. So make sure you guys check that periodically to see what we have going on. Also, we do have an Instagram page up now, you guys. So, uh, if you're on Instagram, social media, make sure you guys go check that out. Support the channel. I mean, support the page uh, on Instagram where it's Big Boss Rockwallet Kennels, the same as the YouTube channel. Only thing is, it's all lowercase and it's all one word. So now, he just switched the nozzle, you guys. And this is just going to be uh, the regular water. He's going to rinse back off the concrete by the door. And rinse back off the uh, sliding door. Because they like to jump and, you know, them getting in and out of the water. You know, you want to keep this clean. You want to be able to see out your house. Sometimes they might have, you know, soft stool to where it um uh, it sticks to the to the grass to the ground or whatever like that, and it doesn't all come up once he uh, breaks it up. So that's what uh, helps get that all done. Just kind of pressure wash it away at, with all the bleach and stuff like that. So you know, it keeps the flies down. And you know, it, it just makes it makes your um, your yard smell a little bit better. It doesn't just smell like dog poop. So as you can see, he's rinsing off the cage, keeping that nice and clean. It's already gone over the bottom. Now we're on to the next cage. Gotta get it right, buddy.
you know, it smell like, you know what, baby? The kids been to the bed with it smell like. It be smell like, you, you know, that's the kids' room because you smell, you know what I'm saying? You smell the pee from accidents. It's the same with the dogs. And believe it or not, yeah, and believe it or not, dogs pee, especially once they get, you know, certain ages, after they, you know, get past that, uh, one month, two month mark, yeah, that, 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 that pee gets a little strong, so you want to omit that smell, you know. So now, cut that off. So now you guys can hear us a little bit better. Um, but again, like I say, hey, if you rock with us, then you will understand and you'll, you know, you get it. So now um, he's unhooking this. And what are you finna do now, babe? Finna uh, fill that water. Fill that water up. Okay. Yeah, fill the water up. So this is the first uh, fill up of the day. This is the morning fill up. And you know, you gotta, you know, from when they jump in and out, stuff like that, they get a little mud in their grass. You know. I even found my little thing on here, but I don't know what happened. It starts leaking water and it starts turning out water. I ain't got time to get wet. Right. How we fill this up? Yeah, we, we had to get some new, we call them little mini swimming pools for them, but this is their, um, this is the the big dog's water bucket. They all have their own um, water bucket, but for the most part, we keep um, like Chanel and Roxy. They have their own water bin because you know they like to jump in the water, and to prevent, like we said earlier, to prevent them from getting sick when they play and you know the dirt and stuff like that. They might step in poop. They might step in pee. You don't want to put that in the in the water for all of them to drink because that will contaminate the water. So this is uh, this bucket right here is normally for um, Devo, Ciroc, and Black Cherry because we have them walking around because they're the they the adults of the of the yard, <laughs> I guess you could say. And Chanel and Roxy has one just like it, and Mo3 has one also, and. We have to get him one because when we bought these, they we bought the last two, so we're waiting on them to um, get some more in. But he does have a pretty decent size uh, water bucket for for himself. Um, Mo three doesn't uh, jump in the water like that, you know. When we spray them um, with the water to you know cool them off and stuff like that, when it's really really hot, then he will play with the water, but. He does. The only one that jump in the water like that is mainly um, Chanel and Roxy and Ciroc. Debo and Mo3 and Black Cherry, they don't, they don't jump in the water. They'll get wet when we spray them, but they don't, they don't jump in. So now we're going to go over here to Chanel and Roxy's um, cage and do the same thing, you guys. Everyday thing, man. Every day. Every day. Yes, every day. And we change the water twice a day. Just to keep it, you know, clean. So they'll have clean drinking water. You drink water, you don't want it all filled with dirt and all sorts of stuff. You want to have some clean water you guys to drink. So the dogs yeah, gotta gotta have the same thing. What we doing over at Big Boss Killer Rock Water, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Baby, you sun kissed. The sun is hitting you right in the face. Everything in big boy stomach. I keep everything clean. You know, I stay clean too, but you know, I got dogs, man. I, I, most of the time, I'm like this. Unless I ain't comfortable. Yeah, I'm comfortable, but when I go out, I'll be ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, but, uh, on the. This is, I mean, this on the, uh, on the real tips, like, man, keep your dog clean. Keep, I mean, keep your yard clean while your dog, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't want to, uh, you don't want to send no dog, you know what I'm saying, to, to no customer. 
sick and nothing like that, it, it starts from your yard. It starts like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep everything clean. Make sure your dog's going to the, uh, go get a, a vet checked up and all that. Make sure everything, you know what I'm saying, before you sell your dog to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. Right, it's just, it's Don't just like, it's just like a kid, you guys. You know how when you have a, a newborn baby, you gotta take them in for the first two week shot, month shot, and so on and so forth, up until, you know. And this right here. You gotta do the I same know, with I the dogs. People be like, you know, you know, I'm doing this for the, you know, for the dogs. I ain't doing it for the money. You know, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get in. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, you gonna do it for, you know what I'm saying, the money too. That's why you really doing it too. But I'm doing it for the dogs, the love for the dogs too. But you know what I'm saying? I'm a breeder. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sell dog. You know. But just don't be doing it for the money though. Cause you right. just, just selling a dog. You know what I'm saying? Nah, don't do that. Right. No. Please don't do that. Nah, you gotta have. It's a passion in this, you guys. Yeah. It's a passion in this, and I'm and, and and to elaborate on what my husband is saying, you know, a lot of people will get on there and be like, "Oh, I don't do this for the money," and, but you're a breeder, like you. We understand, you know, the yeah, the I money mean, you is. Can't, don't fake it to the people, man. You yeah. Know, the, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, you know. Like I, I I'm, I'm just real. I'm a hunter, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know. I mean, it's a good living, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I ain't doing it for the money, but I'm doing, I'm doing it, shit, because I'm making money. You know what I mean? I won't be doing, I, shit, I ain't even gonna do it for free. Right. This is shit, this is shit. That mean, I, I'm just gonna breed, breed, breed dogs and just get my puppies away for free. Nah, right. I'm not gonna do that. Right. I'm doing it for some money. I'm doing it for the money, but I do it, I'm doing it for the love of the dogs. So, you know what I'm right. saying? Because I love them. Yeah, the do our dogs are a part of our family, and Real you know dog, we man. treat them like family. We don't just don't, treat don't them. Say you don't do it for the money, cause you're doing it for the money. Cause if you want it for the money, you won't be doing. It. Yeah, we I don't promise. just treat. We don't just treat this. Just I mean, it is a job, you guys, but that's that's not the main, you know, thing. We we got into this business, like my husband said, for the love of dogs, and you know, why not? Why not make a a, a little money? Yeah. You know, doing it. Don't say you don't do it for the money. Don't say you don't do it. You just, yeah. I hate when people do that, though, because it, 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 it's a lot. You know, you got to be real. Stay real. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real dude. I'm not going to even talk. It is what it is. And cut the water off. Yeah, man. This is nothing. Now, I'm gonna show y'all my truck, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I really, you know, God bless me. You know, I got the Hellcat in the paint shop. I won't gonna tell nobody. Yeah, for those, you know, you know, it's funny. We got a comment the other day. Somebody said we should raffle off our Hellcat. Not <laughs> because I told him I won't raffle off. Oh, okay. Turn it over to you, babe. Oh, yeah, y'all see that thing? You know, I ain't doing no stunt or nothing like that. God bless me. You know? Yeah. You know, them 30-inch Ram Forgiados on a 2021 Denali Yukon. Yeah, Denali Yukon. That's 2021, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dog breeding business, it's very good money in you guys. Um, oh, yeah. And you know, get your mind right. You got it, you know. You know, look at that grill on that thing. Yeah, I was just show showing y'all a little something. But, uh, I said, we're finna get out of here and, uh, I'm gonna take me a shower and, uh, y'all be good. Stay tuned.